Join us as we check out the Quest Pyramid, a wooden puzzle box from Escape Welt, who we have to thank for sending us a package of puzzles to check out. Don't worry, we won't spoil anything for you, though we do have one tip. So we first discovered Escape Welt's escape boxes during the holidays of 2022. Escape Wealth started off as an escape room company that shifted to being a wooden puzzle company during the pandemic and now ships their puzzles all over the world. These puzzles are laser cut birch wood and include traditional flat puzzles, as well as what they call 3D puzzle games, which include these escape boxes. They consider puzzles like the Quest Pyramid to be room escape puzzles where instead of trying to solve puzzles to break out of a room, you're instead trying to solve puzzles to break into the box. Now, when you open the box for one of these puzzles, you're presented with a chunky, solid 3D shape and no guidance. It's up to you to figure out what to do next. Check out our Quest Pyramid unboxing video on YouTube to see exactly what this particular puzzle looks like right out of the box. Now, once you solve the puzzle, you get a small reward and you end up with a physical artifact that looks great on a shelf or makes a good conversation piece. Even better, though, you can also use it as a gift box and double the fun by hiding a gift inside and giving it to someone else. That way, they not only get a gift from you, but also a cool puzzle they have to solve first. While that's true for all of Escape Welt's escape boxes, let's talk about the Quest Pyramid in particular. So the Quest Pyramid is the chunkiest wooden puzzle I've personally played around with. It's surprisingly heavy, dense box that is pleasing to hold. It felt significantly less fragile than other similar puzzles, and I had very little worry about breaking anything while I was trying to solve it. Definitely chunky. I remember the first time you sort of reached out and, and handed it to me. Yes. Uh, the weight was shocking because, again, this is only birch wood. Uh, though to me, to me, there were still some bits and pieces of it. I felt a little nervous if I should push, pull, twist harder or not. Now, one of the best parts about this particular puzzle that it presents not only a very clear starting point, but basically gives you a set of step-by-step -step instructions on how to solve it right on the puzzle. Now, I don't mean it gives you the solution. It doesn't tell you step-by-step -step what to do, but at least gives you hints on what to look for first and what you should do after that and so on. This was a huge bonus, though I will say it was easy to do certain things out of order, which could lead to some confusion. I think people who are more used to these puzzles might hold off on solving things they know they can until they work out the order of steps first. Now, the Quest Pyramid has four main steps to it, with some being more intuitive than others. I appreciated the fact that the first step, step one, was very clear, which was good because it let you accomplish something quickly after picking up the puzzle. It's a nice reward, an instant, oh, there, I've, I already feel smart, I've done something. This stops you from getting frustrated before you've even really begun to explore. And there is a lot here you could get frustrated with, so it's quite a welcome feature. Now, later steps aren't quite so simple and just challenging enough to me. Both Sean and I were working on this puzzle together, and while I figured out the first step, he was the one that noticed a key clue I had missed for solving the second one. It's interesting that you might expect a physical puzzle like this to be all physical solutions, but sometimes it's about how you look at things and not how about how you pull, push, or twist. Yes. Now, while trying to get the quest pyramid open, I will say we got stuck. We got stuck more than once a few times, but it's not a bad thing. You want to get stuck doing these. You don't want them to be so easy that you sit down and the first time you play with it, you get it open. Our copy of the puzzle sat on my game table and then later on my desk for about a week, ended up on the dining room table for a little while, and basically got played with by various members of the family throughout a week. Then, just the other day, I had an epiphany about part of the puzzle. I wasn't even playing with the puzzle. I was doing something else. And I'm like, wait a minute. I think I have an idea. I went back and was able to finish it off in a matter of minutes. Now, while I did eventually figure out the part we were stuck on, I felt smart. And I really loved, actually, the fourth part of the puzzle, which I'm not going to spoil here. This is a real key to their ex expected completion times. I think they are realistic, but not in the same way as a board game where you sit mm. down for an hour and finish it. More that the total time is going to be about an hour, but that time may be broken up over much longer periods, 
as you think about things between uh, the time on hand. And for this particular box, there was no time where I required any outside help, nor did I have to brute force anything or pick any locks. Every aspect of the puzzle I was able to solve by following the clues on the box itself in a logical manner. That being said, for those who do need help, it is available on the website. Mm -hmm. This is especially nice if you want to put a gift inside, but not fight to solve it yourself to do so. Though I want to mention, uh, I saw a uh, question on Amazon suggesting that there was a quick way to open it, uh, a cheat, so if you would, to open it, to put a gift inside. And this is not the case for this puzzle. No. You, the only way to get through it is to solve all of the steps. Uh, there is no hidden secret door for putting gifts in. Yeah, I, I think it's mainly a translation issue for because Escape Wealth is a German company. The trick is you go online and they show you how to open it and solve it, which one of the things that has shocked me about all of these is how quickly you can open them once you know the answer. And it is minutes, uh, if that. <laughs> yeah, kind of like speed Rubik's Cube. You can get some of these open very quickly. Uh, now, I will say that I did have a minor problem with this box. Um, there is a final prize and a small piece of wood chipped off that um, after assembling it and then trying to take it apart to put back in the box. So there was a minor thing. Uh, it was pretty easily fixed with some white glue, um, which seems to have stuck perfectly fine. But I did want to call it out. This was a puzzle, a problem with the prize, not the actual physical box. Birch is not the strongest of woods. Now, one final thing for those who do manage to solve the puzzle, a little bit of a pro tip here, is once you get it open, just be careful when closing it back up. Make sure everything lines up and watch the notch. If you do put it on wrong, you can still reopen it, but you're going to have to account for the fact you assembled it wrong to be able to get it open in the new configuration. Some reviewers have stated that you can't put it back together, which is just wrong. Yeah. It requires you to be very careful, but you can absolutely put it back together. Yeah, in this case, for those reviews, this is pure user error. Nothing wrong with the box or the production of it. It's actually clear the way things should go back if you're paying attention. And I even think that the designers of this did a bit of a pokey oak here, but it's just not enough for some people. If you force it, it might get stuck. So who do you think should be looking at picking up a copy of Quest Pyramid? So of all the puzzles we've tried for Escape Well, this one has bumped up to my favorite. Um, Escape Well, when they reached out to me, said that this was their easiest puzzle to solve. And I got to agree that it was the easiest, but I wouldn't call it easy. That said, we are still pretty new at this type of puzzle experience, this type of game experience. Really, I had not done one of these um, except for my dad having a wooden puzzle box he hid his money, his American money in when I was a kid. These type of puzzle boxes are a new experience to me. I have a feeling someone who plays a lot of these kind of puzzles would not find this much of a challenge. Like they're going to look at the clues in the back and know pretty much what they have to do. But for me, my family and my friends, I found the difficulty to be pretty much perfect. It's a fantastic starting point for this sort of puzzle and great for all appropriate ages as a result. Now, unlike the Fort Knox box and the House of the Dragon, these are other Escape Vault boxes reviewed in the past, I didn't feel the need to look up anything online or watch any videos. Now, in particular, the Fort Knox box, I got stuck because there was a piece that moved that I didn't realize should move, and I found that out through a video. Whereas the House of the Dragon, we solved without having to look up any clues, but we solved it by basically picking the lock, by, by brute forcing one of the solutions. So I went to look up online to figure out how we were supposed to get the answer which was actually kind of interesting new. Now this one, we solved the puzzle without any outside help, other than the fact we teamed up and compared notes, and we did everything in a logical order. Nothing was, you know, tried every possible combination. I gotta say that felt really good. And the teaming up wasn't required, it just shaved a bit of time off that final solving time. And it's the thing we've mentioned before on the show before, sometimes just another set of eyes and another, another look, fresh set of eyes, makes a big difference. Now, what I honestly like most about the three boxes I played with is they make fantastic gift boxes when they're done. And I got to appreciate the pyramid has a slightly larger space than the other two puzzles. And I got to say, the actual final prize was also neater than what were in the other two boxes. 
Though I must say, you cannot fit a gift card into this puzzle box. No, you cannot. Despite what you might see on the Escape Well website, you can, but you're not closing that box. <laughs> Unless you like your gift cards folded in half, I suppose. Yes. Uh, we did admittedly find some of the other prizes in these games quite disappointing, but I expect most people aren't doing these for the gift, but merely for the satisfaction of completing it. Yeah, it's, it's, it's kind of like Cracker Jacks in that way. If you think of it, the enjoyment is eating the Cracker Jacks. The prize is just a little bonus. People enjoy eating Cracker Jacks. Oh, I like Cracker Jacks. <laughs> just like pink popcorn. Same reason. Now, overall, I think the Quest Pyramid from Escape Well is the perfect entry-level wooden puzzle box. It's a great-looking physical object. It's easy to manipulate in most cases. Has a very clear set of clues that get you started solving right away. Overall, the difficulty is low without being too easy, just hard enough to make you feel smart when you finally figure out the solution and probably taking you more than one sitting, which honestly gives you more game for your buck. If you're puzzle box curious or know someone who is, this seems like a great purchase to me. If you're like us and just discovering this genre of game, this will also be a good choice. It was a refreshing change after trying some of the more difficult boxes including one that we've been stuck on for quite some time, though I did finally make the next step on that one just yesterday. I think the chunky nature of it is a big benefit over some of the others as well, since you don't have that same hesitancy about breaking it that some of the other puzzles really personally gave me when I got my hands on them. Yeah, I can totally agree with that. I also think this is a good place to try out the genre. If, if like us, a year ago, you'd never played around with his wooden birch laser cut puzzles um you you don't know what you're missing like if you've never held a good wooden puzzle box in your hand it, you don't know it I, like once you touch one of these you can't help but start pulling pushing sliding tugging flipping reading looking for hints um for a great example of my first experience check out my unboxing video for house of the dragon that was the first one i opened and i had a really hard time to not just fiddle with that on live stream it really is something you can leave on a table, and it will be irresistible to just about anyone. Now, where I'm not sure on this one is for fans of wooden puzzle boxes. There are a number of you out there. I've seen you on YouTube now that I've started deep diving this particular style of game. I don't know if this one's going to challenge an experienced wooden puzzle box fan. I think this might be a little too simple. But even if you are an experienced player, maybe this is the one you pick up to give to other people to get them hooked on your hobby. It's the one you have sitting out for guests to lure them into your hobby. Now, for any of the above, if you do decide to pick up one of these puzzles direct from Escape Well, remember, you can save 10% if you use our special discount code, BELLHOP, one word, B-E-L-L-H-O-P. That's it for our review of the Quest Pyramid Wooden Puzzle Box from Escape Welt. So far, the most approachable escape box we've gotten to play with yet. Do you enjoy these kinds of puzzles? What's your favorite? Tell us about it in the comments below. And for those of you catching this episode as soon as it goes live, I also encourage you to go to tabletopbellhop.com and check out our 200th episode giveaway, where we're giving away not this box, but another box from Escape Welt, the Fort Knox box. I also invite you to check out my written review of the Quest Pyramid over on the blog as well, which I will keep spoiler free. 